Today on Rappler. A Senate panel cites alleged Surigao del Norte cult leaders in contempt for denying allegations of child marriage. The House of Representatives passes the Marcos administration's proposed 5.7 trillion peso 2024 national budget. Ateneo de Manila University still leads Philippine schools in world ranking. The Education Department denies the Marcos dictatorship is being erased from its new curriculum. Gilas Pilipinas keeps its winning streak as it defeats Thailand in the Asian Games. Netflix confirms season 3 of series Alice in Borderland is on the way. And noontime show EAT apologizes to the MTRCB over host Joey De Leon's remark that alludes to suicide. A Senate panel cites key figures of an alleged cult in contempt after the leaders repeatedly denied the practice of child marriage. The alleged cult is based on an island community at Sitio Kapihan, Barangay Sering, Socorro Town, Surigao del Norte. All members of the organization Socorro Bayanihan Services Incorporated, including alleged cult leader J. Rense Quilario, deny minors were forced into marriage in their community. Their denials come after at least three children testified about how they were forced to marry and engage in sexual relations with arranged partners. 15-year-old Jane says she was married off to a stranger when she was 14, adding Quilario, known as Señor Aguila to the community, decides the pairings. Another witness, Lovely Savandal, tearfully recounts how she witnessed her 12-year-old sister get forced to marry a boy she did not know. The House of Representatives passes the spending plan of the Marcos administration for 2024 despite intense criticisms from the chamber's opposition bloc. Budget Secretary Amena Pangandaman says the government's 2024 spending plan is higher by 9.5 percent compared to this year's 5.3 trillion peso budget and is intended to, quote, prioritize expenditures that will sustain economic growth. The House took longer to pass the budget request this year, taking 57 days compared to last year's 37 days. A total of 296 lawmakers vote in favor of the passage of House Bill No. 8980, while three others from the Makabayan bloc vote against it. Meantime, Kabataan Party List Representative Raul Manuel's microphone was turned off when he tried to question the speedy passage of the proposed budget. The Ateneo de Manila University continues to lead Philippine schools as the top university based on the 2024 Times Higher Education World University Rankings. Ateneo places in the 1,000 to 1,200 bracket. Other Philippine universities that place in the world rankings are the University of the Philippines, De La Salle University, and the University of Santo Tomas, which places in the list for the first time. But Ateneo and UP saw a significant drop in their rankings compared to their 2023 placements, after THE adopted a new methodology for the 2024 edition. Mabuwa University, which ranked above 1,501 in the 2023 list, drops to reporter status. THE still assesses universities based on five areas – teaching, research environment, research quality, international outlook, and industry. The Education Department insists removing the name of Marcos in Dictadurang Marcos in the new Matatag curriculum does not seek to revise history. During the House hearing of DepEd's 2024 budget, Kabataan Representative Raul Manuel and Albay Representative Edsel Lagman scrutinized this policy. Manuel says the policy will contribute to state-sponsored disinformation. House Appropriations Vice Chair Maria Carmen Zamora acknowledges Marcos's presidency was a dictatorship and insists the changing of the term only meant to, quote, focus on themes and concepts instead of individual names. Lagman, meantime, says the government should just be calling the dictatorship what it is. Earlier in September, the DepEd issued a memo directing the change of Dictadurang Marcos to just Dictadura. Giles Pilipinas stays unbeaten in the 2023 Asian Games as it delivers an 87-72 win over Thailand in Hangzhou, China. This despite a rare instance of Justin Brownlee struggling with the offensive. Brownlee makes just 8 of his 27 field goals but still finishes with an all-around effort of 22 points, 15 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 steals. CJ Perez also finishes with 16 points, while Scotty Thompson posts 7 points. Gilas now holds a 2-0 record in Pool C of the Asian Games. 
Gila's players will face PBA Best Import Rondé Hollis Jefferson, who is playing for Jordan in a battle of unbeaten teams on Saturday, September 30. Only the top team from each of the four groups will qualify for the quarterfinals. Netflix announces hit Japanese thriller series Alice in Borderland has been renewed for a third season. Netflix releases its official motion poster, which features a red number three and a Joker card, with a Japanese voiceover saying, the game will now commence. This first look at Alice in Borderland Season 3 comes a day after fans successfully deciphered the hidden message posted by Netflix. Lead actors Kento Yamazaki and Tao Tsuchiya are set to reprise their roles as Ryohei Arisu and Yuzuha Usagi, respectively. Director Shinsuke Sato also returns as the series' director. Alice in Borderland, which was adapted from Haru Aso's manga of the same name, first streamed on Netflix in December 2020. It garnered both critical acclaim and wide viewership across different countries. Noontime show EAT's management apologizes to the Movie and Television Review and Classification Board for Joey De Leon's rope joke. In the September 23 episode of the show, the segment's contestant had been tasked to state, in less than 45 seconds, five items that could be placed around someone's neck. De Leon chimed in, saying, quote, You forgot about the rope. Social media users have since slammed the comedian, calling him out for being insensitive towards people with mental health struggles. MTRCB says it received an apology letter from EAT's production team, saying it was, quote, regretful and apologetic to those who were offended by De Leon's comment. EAT further explains De Leon's comment was done in a, quote, very brief manner without further actions, elaborations, or demonstrations. The MTRCB Adjudication Board chairperson says the panel took the complaints it received in consideration over De Leon's remarks. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Raptors YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.